Sonia's in Santa Cruz. Hi, Sonia. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hello, Mr. Ramsey. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Good. Um, so I had a question. Um, last year, around August, my mother gift and my 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 parents gave to the house to me. Basically wow. Taking over. Well, kind of taking over their remaining mortgage um, balance or principal and an equity loan that they had taken on the house because she got really sick and she had to go on disability and she could no longer make the equity payment plus the mortgage payment. She ended up passing away in December. Um, oh, no. Yeah. So now I have this house um, and I live with my dad and I believe we're going to live together forever. I have two kids, single mom. Um what I the balance on the house right now is three hundred and forty six thousand dollars and the value is five hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars. And I'm wondering are we do we sell the house or do we keep it? I don't know what to do. I mean I can I've budgeted. I make about forty three thousand dollars a year. How are you and paying I, the payment? My dad is receiving benefits, um, survivors' benefits. He receives about two thousand dollars a month, and I make I bring home about twenty seven, twenty eight hundred dollars a month. And so you have forty seven, forty eight hundred dollars a month to work with, mm-hmm. and your house payments are how much? We don't have any. Oh, the house payments and yeah. um, twenty four thirty three, including insurance and taxes yeah. on the house. You need to sell the house. We need to sell it. You cannot exist with a house payment. This is 50% of your household income. Yeah. You're not. You're just barely holding on, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Very highly stressful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the only thing is that, you know, it's been our house or my mom's house. So yeah, it's we have sad. all our memories it, 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 over. It is very sad, but you can't afford it. I mean, yeah. there, there's no future here unless your income is going to double soon. I know. I recently got an $800 increase um, yeah. raise in January, yeah. and we usually get a $5,000 bonus during the year. Yeah. How, how old are you? I'm 35. Uh, how's your dad's health? He's very healthy. How old is he? 61. 61? 61, yes. And he receives a benefit survivor. What does he make a year working? He doesn't work. He spent the last three years taking care of my mom. Okay. And she passed away in December. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry you guys are facing this. He needs to go to work. Yeah. Now. Okay. This is May. Y'all are starving yeah. to death. Yeah. Yeah, what, we what? don't really have a lot of fun. We just pay the bills. You can't even pay your bills, hardly. You're starving to death. Well, I also receive five hundred dollars a month in child support. I have two kids. That's sweet, honey. But your house payment is fifty percent of your household income because your father has not gotten reemployed. Yeah. Okay. He needs to get reemployed, and y'all probably need to sell the house. The house was deeded over to you. Yeah, it was, and since it was from a parent to a child, um, I believe the taxes will never change on it. You know, the property taxes won't change, property. but um, that you've got all kinds of tax problems with the income tax because they did not do it properly. So you you very likely your dad could get hammered for about thirty or forty thousand dollars worth of income tax called gift tax because they didn't do this. And you have another problem, and that is that the um, mortgages that you just took over do not allow you to do that. And they have the right to call those loans at any time and start foreclosure. You can't oh. just take over someone's mortgages without the bank's permission, and they do not give permission to take over mortgages without qualification. And you did not qualify for these mortgages. I mean, everything's under I'm the borrower. I'm the money. I mean, everything's under my name. No. The mortgages did not transfer to your name. No. No, they didn't. Because they would have called them. If they figure out that this has happened, they have the right. They may not choose to, but they have the right to call the loan in full. So you guys are in a world of hurt here. So here's a couple things to do. 
and I, I want to try to get the stress off of you as best I can without you guys getting hammered. Um, you you need to call you need to go to DaveRamsey.com and do two things. One is click on ELP for real estate and talk to some real estate agents and let's get this house on the market before you get in trouble and lose it. It's got too much equity for you to lose. The second thing that needs to happen is you need to click on ELP, Endorse Local Provider, for taxes. And you guys need to sit down with a tax professional and go file an amended return for your parents' income taxes last year immediately with a gift tax under the... You got a pencil? Yes. Under the Unified Estate Tax Credit. And that way your dad and mom can transfer this much equity to you without having gift tax. But it has to be done with a form. If you come along and the IRS audits them four years from now and this has not been done, it'll be taxed. All of that equity would be taxed at 55%. I'm talking about federal, not California. Oh, wow. You're going to get hammered. He's going to get hammered. So you've got, and it's one form and, a, you know, a little bit of work to do this properly. So I would get the house on the market. I'm afraid the mortgages are going to be called and you guys can't afford it. And I know it's sad, and I'm so sorry you're facing this, honey. But you're going to have to make some big girl decisions because you're in a big girl mess. Yeah. Okay. And so get the taxes done with a tax professional. It's called the Unified Estate Tax Credit. Get an amended return filed immediately. And then let's start talking to a real estate agent about getting this thing on the market. And then let's lay out a game plan for our future of how we're going to eat. And that is including your daddy going back to work now. Okay. Okay, because your yeah. family can't make it in Santa Cruz, California. The cost of living is too high with what you guys have coming in without him working. Yeah. Am I wrong? No, you're not. Okay, I'm not trying to be harsh with you. I just want to be. I just want to speak real clearly to you because I don't want any more pain in your life. You've had enough pain. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now, have you ever been through Financial Peace University? No. Do you want to go through as my guest and learn how to handle money and take your dad with you? Yes, please. Okay, good. And uh, so you hold on, and I'll have Kelly pick up, and we'll get you signed up for that. And then you call me if you need any help as you go along. I don't want you to get stung here, kiddo. You guys have had enough pain with the loss of your mom and all the stuff of him taking care of her and everything else. It's just too much to, it's just too much to bear, and we'll help you carry it. But you're going to have to make some big girl decisions, and they're hard to do. It's hard to do, but you're you're not left with a lot of options here. So this will give you motivation for cleaning up your life and your finances and getting on a plan that's sustainable, meaning you can pay the bills because you can't make it when your house payment's 50% of your take-home pay. It's just, I mean, you can make it short-term, but you just can't prosper with that. So, hey, hold on. Kelly will pick up, and we'll take care of you.